All right, so let's look at how we can create some controls to be able to um, move these clusters around a lot more interactively. We'll start out by creating a NURBS circle, something simple like that. All right, so let's just move that up, move it over here a little bit so we can see it better, and I'll scale it up a little bit as well. Let's go over and I'm gonna turn off uh, polygon visibility and let's hold down V to point snap that to the cluster. All right. Um, and I am going to just try to rotate this a little bit to better match the orientation of that. I think maybe just negative 90 is fine for getting started here. And let's just go in and uh, freeze our transformations there. So modify freeze transformations. And let us also Maybe just give it a name. So we'll call this um, strap right uh, o curve o1 or o1 curve, something like that. Actually, we'll just call it strap right curve underscore o1, and then I'll duplicate that. That way, it'll pen the number better. And we'll move the duplicate over. I'm sure, grab just the duplicate. I'll move that over. V to point snap it up here. And we can probably keep it in the same orientation. That's fine. Did it move? Where'd it go? Why am I not seeing it? Interesting. Okay, let's try that again. Duplicate. Okay, I have no idea where it went. <laughs> that was odd. Um, but that's okay. We will duplicate again and move that over here and put that on that curve. Now we could probably rotate this one a little bit. That one seems a little bit off, so maybe some like uh, negative 45 there might work a little bit better. Uh, let's go again and freeze transformations. Actually, don't freeze transformations there. I think what would work best is undo that. Freeze transformations first, and then we'll um, go in and use the, an option in here to uh, rotate axis. So rotate Z axis negative 45, that'll be better. Okay, um, go back and just freeze transformations on this guy. Okay, and we'll continue on here and let us duplicate and bring it down here. This one we can probably get by without having to rotate that axis. The reason why I rotated the axis on the other one is just so that um, if I am in object mode, it retains uh, this kind of orientation here, which makes a little bit more sense. Uh, for this one here, I'm going to turn that off and let's go in and just simply rotate it here to 90, negative 90. If I freeze transformations now, will that still work? I think that will still work fine. Yeah, okay. Pop down, do the next one. Hold down V. And finally, do the last one. Which we can probably get by by um, rotating in there a little bit, maybe negative 45 again, something like that. Okay, cool. So, freeze transforms. Make sure all these freeze transforms. Okay, cool. Um, so that's just a starting point. And what we can do now for each of these is use them to parent the clusters to. So if I take my cluster one and I, my right cluster one, and I middle mouse click and drag that under curve 01, if I grab curve 01 now and move that around, you'll see that that's actually moving the cluster around. I'm gonna do that for each of these. So that's very, very simple. Um, that's the idea, at least, I'm just undoing here real quick because what's gonna be a little bit easier for me is if I first just go in and take all of these curves that I have right now, I'm just gonna group them. I'm gonna duplicate that group. Um, and then I'm just gonna take that group and I'm going to scale it in negative Z. And now I've just created a duplicate version of these curves over here. 
I didn't want to do that with the clusters in there because I didn't want to duplicate the clusters. So we will edit ungroup and just freeze transformations again on all of those. And then we'll do edit ungroup here as well. Cool. Um, so as we were doing before, there to there, there to there, and so on, so on, so forth. And we can do that all the way down. So I'm just going to pause the video while I do that. I just have to rename um, these curves here. So this is going to become uh, left curve 01, obviously. And I'll just rename all these ones down in the same way and then pull those clusters into them as well. OK, now I have all those created. I'm just going to take um, all of my strap curves here, and I'm going to take the right strap curves and I'll hit control G and we'll call that the strap right curve uh, group and we'll call this the strap left curve group excellent all right, and what I just realized is that I actually don't want these to be called um, curves. They are technically curves, but um, I want to differentiate between this as a curve and these as controls. So quickly, what I can do is to go through and go to Modify, Search and Replace Names, and we're going to change this. We're going to grab the current name, which is Curve Group, CRV Group, and we're going to change that, re replace it to Control Group on All. I'll just hit Apply, and you'll see that uh, they should update. That was for control group. For CRV, we'll just take, um, I think I'll just make this easier to say strap right CRV, and I'll just take this as strap right control. And then seem to do it there. So that's interesting. Um, not sure why that's the case. I'm just going to simplify it a little bit. CRV, I'm going to change to control. Hit apply on all that. The only thing I need to fix now is just put these ones back to CRV there. It's not the world's most perfect search command, but it'll work. There we go. That's all I needed to do. And so the naming there makes a little bit more sense. All right. Cool. So I think that that's probably a good place to stop right now. Then in the next video will show you how to start linking all this up together so that uh, when I move these around, um, they uh, behave in a way that uh, makes sense.